makes Nichol asks, how does Reforger handle stamina, weapon handling and suppression effects? That's another big part of what sets Squad apart from a lot of other tactical shooters. So in Armor Reforger, the suppression effects, which is the effects applied to your character when you almost get hit by something, it's not as sophisticated as in Squad. However, it doesn't have to be, because the game reaches, um, I would call it, more intensity in the fear of getting hit by the surrounding gameplay rules of how the game is built. So what I mean by that is, in Squad, it doesn't really matter that much if you get hit, because you respawn, I think, within 20-30 seconds, and the maps are really small, so usually you would spend at most one and a half minutes to get back into the action, to the situation where you got taken out of from the enemy fire. Now, Reforged is a bit different. There's, I think, no almost no noticeable if direct impact in the character um, caused by incoming fire. But it's simply the fear of getting hit is more intense in Armor Reforger. And the reason for that is that um, in Reforger it can take you about 5 to 10 minutes to get into the action. So in this scene, I'm at the south of Okay, Let me show you the map. I'm approximately here somewhere. And one of these squares is one kilometer. And most squad maps are about two by two kilometers. Okay, so you can see the difference in scale already. So let's say if your main base is up here, and you're beating the enemy back to, to up here, and here's the enemy main base. And let's say you formulate the plan to get a machine gun jeep all the way, driving it all the way here, setting it up, you have, a, you have a gun battle, and something almost hits you. Now in this game, you fear every single hit that almost hits you. You got almost no, no, direct, imp, um, no, no direct distortion here for aim or blurring effects, so none that I could notice. But you just fear that hit, because if, if you get taken out or at least hit once, your character might be dead, your character might get locked unconscious, which means you're ragdolling for, I think, 30 to 60 seconds. Plus, it might cause some bleeding effect, which might kill you later if you don't get first aid. So, paradoxically, I think that it's the the depth of the, of the surrounding strategic layer of the gameplay, which is more in the background, or as a consequence after the combat, that allows Reforger to get away with less intense suppression effects. 